Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and I just wanted to do a follow-up video on my lawn boy. Uh, the previous video that I had had, uh, uh, had a viewer that had made a comment and he was very nice about it, about the linkage here. Now, if you had found the mower in the trash, uh, you wouldn't know that that's the way the linkage should be. Uh, as long as it's functional, there wouldn't be any reason to uh, even investigate it. Uh, but I was glad he mentioned that. Uh, I found this mower was a couple years ago, and it's actually been working fine the way this linkage was hooked up. And uh, so I did some uh, research and found the service manual. <laughs> and this way here seems to be the way they show it in the manual. Now, I have watched several other videos uh, that had it the way I had it before, and I'm going to put it the way it was before, and then uh, I'm going to show you guys how to properly install it. Alright guys, so first, thanks to all the new subscribers and the viewers that are watching. You know, I'm getting a quite amount of view, views per month, and I really appreciate that. Um, you know, if you like the video, like it, subscribe, share it. Uh, not quite to a thousand subscribers yet, but that, that's my minimum goal. Uh, but for today, uh, I want to show you the linkage. Now, this is the way I had the linkage in the previous video. Now, it did function properly, no issues. Uh, all this does is connect uh, this portion here to the auto choke. Um, and you can see when I'm doing it, it's, it's pretty. Uh, solid. I mean, it's not something that's just going to fly off for no reason. You know, maybe if you had some bumps you were going over the mower, you know, it might come out. Um, but again, as I said, it's been two years I've been mowing with this and uh, that's the way it was when I had found the mower. Uh, so I did want to uh, uh, get the service manual and make sure that it was correct. Uh, but again, I did see there's a bunch of videos out there where they do show this linkage this way. Okay, so what's the proper way? Um, that's still functional, but that will ensure that this doesn't come out if you hit a bump. Well, typically if you were to clean the uh, carburetor out, uh, this fuel line would be unhooked. Uh, be a little bit easier to manipulate it, but for me, I already have the carburetor on. It's already been cleaned in the last video. Works fine. Everything's fine. So I'm going to just do the linkage here with the carburetor on. Now, it would be much easier if the hose was off and I could turn the carburetor, uh, and you'll understand what I mean in a minute. Uh, but I do think it's pretty easy just taking the T20, there's two screws, T20's off for the auto choke mechanism. And then, so now we have our linkage here. And I'm going to feed in this linkage from the bottom, just like this. I'm going to feed it in and kind of manipulate it. Manipulate it around here so that it's this way. Okay? We could see how that's in there. Now, for me, what I'm going to do is turn this uh, auto choke mechanism and slide the car back just a little. And it is a little bit more difficult doing it this way than if you remove the whole carburetor. And I'm just going to get it in that hole there. Just like that. Now I could feed... I want to place my auto choke mounting there and put get my T20. And I'm just going to move that choke plate out of the way so I can get to that screw, get it in there. And then I'm going to put in my other T20 screw 
this one's a little bit trickier. And there you have it. Now, it functions exactly the same, but you have that safeguard. Uh, and like I said, it depends on your terrain of what, what you're mowing. There is a possibility that that could pop out uh, the way it was. <clears throat> this way is for certain not going to pop out. Uh, so I just wanted to make a video of, of showing the proper installation of this linkage. Uh, as always, you probably want to check your service manual, uh, particularly if you found uh, the mower or the piece of equipment and it wasn't functioning properly then of course that would lead you to doing more research looking at the service manual and you would realize that that should be corrected so I hope you got some use out of the video uh, again thanks everyone for your support on the channel you know it's coming along it's a work in progress um, like and subscribe uh, if you like the video um, and we'll see you next fix